in the past week we have seen a number of UPA politicians who've literally had to eat their words. This after outrageous comments on how much money it takes to get one square meal a day. It was suggested by some that 12 rupees is enough, then by others that 5 rupees is enough and then there were some who said even 1 rupee can get you enough food to give you well one good meal a day. Like we said, these politicians have had to eat their words. But it's reopened a ferocious public debate on exactly how the poverty line should be defined and by whom. This, of course, after the UPA and the Planning Commission said that poverty figures have significantly gone down. Joining us now is the Planning Commission Chief, Montek Singh Aluwalia. On the one hand, your commission had a report that should have been the harbinger of good news, of good political messaging, to make the argument that poverty has actually come down. But when you see its articulation in these kind of absurd idioms, as I've just mentioned, 12 rupees is enough to get a meal, 5 rupees is enough, 1 rupee is enough, what everybody is saying is that this is just mocking the poor. Are you embarrassed by the kind of comments you've heard from some of the UPA politicians? Well, actually, I've not heard those comments. I've seen some news reports. Uh, let's focus on what the Planning Commission said and did. Individuals can make whatever comments they like, and I can't comment on that. But the fact is that the Planning Commission, and you know this well, ever since it has made the argument that the poverty line as as, as, as used by you, even to make the argument that poverty figures have come down, essentially says that 33 rupees a day in the cities and 27 rupees in the rural areas is enough for a person to be below or above the poverty line. It's the cutoff you use. This has been used again and again, Montek, yeah. to make the point that you are disconnected from reality. Well, look, let me say, uh, first of all, this is not the Planning Commission's line. I mean, the poverty line is not drawn by the Planning Commission. It's actually drawn by expert groups. And the line you're talking about is the line that was recommended by Suresh Tendulkar's yes. expert committee. Now, remember, uh, the UPA came in in 2004. At that time, the poverty line that was being used was very low. And there was a feeling that, look, it's just too low. So it was the UPA that set up the Tendulkar committee in order to review the position, and the Tendulkar committee said we should have a higher poverty line. So the first thing to say about the Tendulkar committee is that they didn't raise the, the poverty, poverty yeah. line. I mean, the previous government had made no effort whatsoever to raise the poverty line. So we, we ought to recognize that in UPA 1, this decision was taken. <clears throat> now, Tendulkar adjusted the line upward that made the percentage below the line higher than it otherwise would be. But, you know, even that was not felt by many people to be, to be appropriate. And there's a reason for that. They thought that, you know, food, subsidized food was being linked to below poverty line numbers. And they felt that the number of people who should get subsidized food is much larger. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, one group feels that the subsidized food as an entitlement should be universal. Everybody, you, me, everyone should get subsidized food. What the government did was to delink poverty calculations from the subsidized food issue. But isn't so today, that, but what isn't, we, isn't, no, that, isn't that paradoxical? Because no, one no. assumes one assumes that if today, as per your report, when you say that twenty one percent, roughly twenty one percent or twenty two percent of the population is now poor, but you are reaching you are, you you want your food security bill to go out to eight hundred plus million no, no, people. No, but let's be clear. Now, it assumes, therefore, it assumes, therefore, that apart from these 21 to 22 percent, everybody else is not poor, therefore, can afford food. No, it doesn't follow. Look, let me say, uh, you know, entitlement to free goods of various kinds is not actually limited only to the poor. I mean, for example, free education is available to everybody. As far as universal health care is concerned, if you want to opt for the public sector, that should also be available free to everybody. There are many things that are available to everybody, some things that are only given to the poor. And on the food issue, the perception was that you need some support, not just for the poor, but also for the arm army. I mean, you know, the concept of poor, first of all, the line is always arbitrary. There's a lot of, there's a lot of argument that even the Tendulkar line is too low. And the government has recognized that maybe we should take a second look so at it. So you're reviewing it under UPA Rangarajan? Two, yeah. UPA 2 under Rangarajan is reviewing it. But the existing Tendulkar line ex was there, and we knew what the poverty, what was happening to poverty. And remember, 
in the period from 1993 to 2004, okay, using, using the Tendulkar line but going backward, you found that the decline in poverty was about 0.74 percentage points per year yeah. okay, over that period. If you went forward from 2004, up, we had data up to 2009. And the 2009 data showed that actually the rate of improvement in poverty had increased compared to the pre-2004 numbers. Now, the latest data that came out was for 2011-12. That's the last year of the uh, five-year plan, yes. the 11th five-year plan. Yes. It would have been absurd for us not to show what does the Tendulkar line show as far as poverty is concerned. That would have been dishonest but because the debate had existed earlier. What does it show? What it shows is a very simple thing. Prior to 2004, the decline in poverty every year was 0 0.74 percentage points. After 2004, it's 2.2 percentage points.